Scientists are releasing a new warning about the threat of a massive supervolcano eruption, like the one under Yellowstone National Park in Wyoming. The European Science Foundation has released a 70-page report called Extreme Geohazards, Reducing the Disaster Risk and Increasing Resilience. It references the Yellowstone supervolcano. Now, Yellowstone's volcano doesn't look like some others because it's a caldera or a crater. It, it, it's around, the, uh, uh, around ground level instead of towering into the clouds. But scientists say it covers a really enormous reserve of magma beneath the Earth's surface. We have a rendering of what scientists say is underneath that volcano, an ocean of molten rock, they tell us, that stretches for hundreds of miles. Of course, nobody needs to freak out right now at all. Scientists say there's a, only about a 10% chance of an eruption like this happening any time this century. So there's a, there's a good chance you'll never see it. But 10%, I mean, that's not tiny. And the U.S. Geological Survey noted last year, even if Yellowstone does erupt, it could be a small incident, not some Armageddon-type thing. Michio Kaku joins us now. He's a theoretical physicist, a professor, a best-selling author, and friend, friend, of the pro, friend of the program. Give us some context on this, what we're talking about here. Well, forget the image of Yogi Bear representing Yellowstone. We're talking about a sleeping Godzilla underneath Yellowstone that if it erupts in a maximum eruption called Category 8, it could literally tear the guts out of the United States of America. Instead of having 50 states of the Union, we would only have 30 states of the Union. Now, that's Category 8. This report looked at Category 7, which is much more likely once every thousand years rather than once every million years. That means in every century, there's a 10% chance that somewhere on the planet Earth, there could be a supervolcanic Category 7 eruption. That's the danger. You, you just talked about a volcano that could, could wipe out 20 states. How, how in the world is that possible? Well, it's happened before, 2.1 million years ago, 1.3, and also 0.6 million years ago. We have the evidence of a gigantic eruption that is sufficient to tear the guts out of the U.S. of A. So this report has to be taken seriously, but hey, don't sell the store, don't panic. We don't expect it to happen in our lifetime. It, it, it's hard really to imagine this, this lake of lava that stretches hundreds of miles in all directions. It, uh, how do we know that and how, how, how do they read that? Well, just two years ago there was a scare in fact. We actually began to measure the size of this lava hotspot and it turned out to be twice as big as we previously thought. However, uh, the good news is that it's not migrating, it's not moving, we see no indication whatsoever that a big one is coming. However, eventually the law of averages catches up to you. And this report singled out uh, Mount Vesuvius outside Naples, Italy, outside Mexico City and Yellowstone as three hotspots where a Category 7 volcanic eruption could indeed take place in this century. So there are only three of this size in all the world? Well, there's several in um, Indonesia and uh, New Zealand that have had Category 8 eruptions, in fact. But then again, we're talking about once every million years for Category 8. Category 7 will be many times the size of Mount St. Helen, enough to cause widespread destruction across the state, but not enough to destroy the U.S. of A. But still, something that we have to take very seriously now. What would we get in the way of warnings, Michio? Well, unlike a media from outer space, where you get no warning whatsoever, we get warnings. If you've seen movies like Pompeii, you know that there are days, in fact weeks, of eruptions building up, grumbling inside, underneath the ground, near the, the pocket of lava. So there would be enough time, several weeks, in order to begin evacuation if and when such an unlikely event were to take place. All right, Michio Kaku on the news deck. No time to panic, but interesting, very interesting. Thank you. Mm-hmm.